Hi and welcome to a pick a card reading for February of 2024. It looks like a pretty interesting month, so let's have a look to see what's up ahead. Hi and welcome, my name's Francisca and I make these pick a card videos as well as I work full time as a psychic and um, have done so for many, many years. So if you haven't already, please pick row one, two or three and we'll get going. Okay, so if you've picked row one, we start the month out with the star, which is a new beginning. It's a new start, a fresh new start in your life. And yeah, it's, it's like you've got some new ideas, some new dreams, some new goals. There's a whole lot of freshness and excitement coming into your life this month. So be open-minded, be broad-minded and look at all the opportunities coming into your life because, yeah, there's a lot of fresh energy coming into your reality, into your life that you're attracting into your life. And yeah, it's going to bring you new opportunities, new adventures. Um, new connections, there's so much new coming into your life and it's very, very positive and very upbeat kind of energy. So yeah, really enjoy that because it's a wonderful influence to have. Um, but mid-month, we've got a lot of creative and also romantic energy. We've got the Knight of Cups, which is creative, romantic. Um, so, you know, romance may be really in a good place for you mid-month or there's somebody around you who's certainly keen on you if you're single um, that doesn't mean you have to be keen on them but there's something happening <laughs> in the romantic sector anyway but it's also a strong creative energy to put your creative energy into your life into your dreams into your goals and to not give up you know keep dreaming like if you think about it as children we all had big dreams about what we wanted to do and be and you know, it was limitless. This energy is a bit like that. It's like bringing that limitless potential and creativity back into your life. So it's a really beautiful energy. And that can be in romance too. You know, you do have options. You do have possibilities. And if you're in a relationship that feels a bit stuck, you also have options to change it and to do something about it. But yeah, I feel in this instance with the star, it's more about your own creative potential and not limiting yourself with what you think is possible you know there's far more out there for you than you can even imagine so yeah it's a very very positive very um vibrant energy saying to you yeah be creative in your thinking be open-minded be open to possibilities and options and be open to dream again okay um <laughs> we all need to dream, it's how we create. We need to use our imagination to see and to visualize what we want to manifest and have happen in our lives. So, by the end of the month, we've got the High Priestess, which is very intuitive, um, very strong inner guidance. You've, you're really tuned in at the end of the month, you're really connected to that inner wisdom and to your guides and the whole spiritual energies around you. You're really, really tuned in, connected, so listen to that. Try not to overthink it. You know, if you have a strong, intuitive hit that tells you something, don't then go and overthink it and overanalyze it. Let it be, let it um, develop, let it evolve, let it grow, um, and let it happen, because, yeah, your intuition is going to be so on point. By the end of February, you're really, really connected and tuned into the higher frequency. So it's it's a really beautiful time to take some time for yourself to allow yourself to do that. You know, to sit in nature or be somewhere peaceful, and to allow your intuition to guide you and to inspire you. There's a lot of inspiration coming to you this month from the higher realms. They really, you know bringing you a lot of energy to um, create a life with and, and you've, you're have really nicely balanced, you know, there's a lot of energy and a lot of new energy but there's also this really deep intuitive spiritual essence and aspect of yourself that 
yeah, you've got to pay attention to it because it's going to be so spot on this month, especially at the end. So yeah, it looks like a very, very exciting, vibrant, fresh month for everybody who's picked row one. So for row two, we start the month with the Ace of Pentacles, which is another really vibrant, energized card. It's like an opportunity is coming into your life. The universe is bringing you something, an opportunity, and you need to take it. Don't, you know, think, oh, I can't, or I might not be able to, or overthink it and, and miss this opportunity. There's the opportunity coming to do something you want to, that you've been wanting to for a while. There's also the opportunity to actually enjoy yourself and do things that you've been wanting to do for a while. The opportunity's there this month to do that. But it's also a really good opportunity in the sense of the material realm, um, both finances and things. It, it looks like a good month for you financially. So, yeah, it starts off very, very positive. Um, Mid-month, we've got more pentacles. We've got the two of pentacles, which is about balance. Um, in this case, it's about not overworking and balancing what you have to do and work doesn't have to be paid work you might be a mum but you might be running around frazzled trying to get everything done or whatever it is you do <clears throat> make sure you balance it with time for yourself don't get so focused on the material and the things you have to do to <clears throat> lose track of of the the dreaming the the fun the enjoyment the being able to relax and unwind and yeah, um, it's it's very much about balance that you don't run yourself ragged this month and that you find time for yourself in all that busyness because it looks like an, a pretty intense month for you this month. So yeah, take some time for you. Take some time to just chill and relax and do whatever makes you feel good and relax, whether that's reading a book, going for a walk, painting a picture, creating something, whatever relaxes you the most. You need to make time for that. And by the end of February, we've got the King of Wands, which means you're feeling pretty together and in charge. That sort of unbalanced, scattered energy is gone, and you're feeling like, yep, I'm ready. I'm ready to take charge. I'm ready to decide where my priorities are, what I want to focus on, and where I'm going. It's also an influence of leadership, so you may be you know people may be relying on you or expecting you to lead them or inspire them or guide them so you've got that quality too at the end of the month it's quite strong um but it's yeah it's it's an influence of balanced leadership it's not about the power hungry leader who wants to control everyone it's more about the leader who wants to inspire and empower others so you've got that quality is really developing in you and it's actually going to allow you to let go of things that aren't yours, that you don't have to do, that somebody else could do. So, yeah, balanced leadership and also deciding what you need to do, what you need to focus on and what you can actually um, let go of and, and not do that, that aren't your um, responsibility, that aren't things that you have to do so yeah it's, it's a time of, of really getting clear on that you've got a lot going on but by the end of the month you're definitely very clear about what you need to put your energy and your attention into and what you can let go of so yeah it's quite powerful okay row three we start with a cautious influence of the page of swords who's standing back and watching <laughs> and you're doing a little bit of that at the start of the month there's something going on around you and you're watching and waiting and waiting for things to develop and to see what happens next and that's okay sometimes we need to do that sometimes we need to step back and go oh uh, I'm not 100% sure here I'm going to stand back and um, wait till the whole picture emerges and, and see what's happening so it's not a time to rush into anything especially things you don't feel ready for so you know if somebody's pushing you to do something you don't feel comfortable with it's definitely a time to say well um, no and, and step back um, to decide what you need to do but also just to take some time to 
reflect on things before you make big decisions. So start of the month is not a time to rush big life-changing decisions. Um, but mid-month we have got the Four of Wands, which is about balancing freedom with the, with the things you need to do with your duties, your obligations, you know, your life stuff you have to get done. This whole influence is basically saying, you know, don't overcommit, you know, together the way they work. It's saying, please don't overcommit to things that aren't your job or that you don't need to do or where you're taking on too much. This is saying it's okay to step back and have some freedom for yourself because the Four of Wands is all about stability with freedom, you know, the, the fine balance with that, where you have the support and the stability to have a good life, but you've also got the freedom and aren't worked <laughs> into the ground to actually enjoy that life. So this is bringing that into balance for you. So it makes sense with that one with the page of swords saying slow down stop don't take on more than you need to here um and that could be at work that could even be with family or relationships where you maybe have a tendency to do more than your share this is a time to bring that back into balance and by the end of the month you've got the six of swords which is really saying it's time to move forward it's time to move towards new goals, new horizons. There's things you're leaving behind that no longer work for you. There are things you've decided that no longer work for you and you're moving on, you're moving forward and you're moving into a new direction. And there's a little bit of sadness around that as there always is when we leave something or someone behind. This could be people or things or jobs or obligations. It could be anything. Um, that you're leaving behind because it's no longer right for you and yeah there'll be a little bit of sadness around that but you'll soon get past that because you've also got your eye on what you do want to do and how you do want to live and the freedom you want to have and the joy you want to have in your life again so yeah it's it's a positive influence it's a hard step but it's really positive if you take it because it's going to take you into the next chapter of you know, not being overly leaned on or obligated or having to do more than you actually really want to do. So, yeah, that's, that's an interesting influence because it's quite different to the other two in the sense that it's kind of cautioning you to, yeah, think before you commit to things, really, and to leave behind the tendency to say yes before you've really thought things through or if you don't want to you know sometimes we have to learn to say that and in this case it's yeah leaving anything extra that is no longer needed in your life behind this month so yeah and finding that balance in your life it looks like quite a powerful month with a lot of change going on for row threes so anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you have, please give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Um, I want to wish you lots and lots of love and have an awesome, awesome month. And I'll see you all next time.